my amazing viewers. Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are connecting from. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you so much and remember this. Pushing up points of why the APC should consider um, zoning or perhaps picking its presidential ca candidates from the East. Yeah, uh, it's very, very important. It's very, very fundamental because uh, at this point, uh, we should be talking about what we need to do uh, for the unity of Nigeria. The unity of this country should be considered first, more than anything, and is so important more than any body, uh, uh, personal or political interest. And uh, basically on that, it is justifiable that APC should narrow their presidential ticket to southeast. Now, uh, I want to tell you, like, uh, from the uh, what is happening. Is that the choice of the APC the national leadership or the choice of the delegates, the statutory delegates, the other delegates, and you know the members of the P APC? Yeah, when I mean APC, I'm talking about both the stakeholders, both the delegates. When I'm talking about APC, so it is their sole responsibility to look at the unity to look at the peace of this country it is something that is very very important that is what they should consider first before any other thing but that's the high point for all political parties as it were the focus of every major political party including the young political parties is to unite the country first their focus is to make sure that nigeria remains as one and of course you know put an end to the incessant attacks and killings we're experiencing on a daily basis at least not enough for you know the party to come up with the best candidates uh, you see uh, uh, when you see political parties are doing that is this is a verbal statement we are looking at the practical aspect of it like you can see what happened uh, on 28th of uh, last month uh, pdp uh, convention you see what happened there what happened? I get it. I think um, when you look at everything that happened and what led to one of the presidential aspirants to leave the party is because of uh, there is a, a conspiracy, uh, there is a gang up against the presidential aspirant from Southeast. Okay. I get it. Now, when you look at uh, what happened, let me take you back what happened in 1999 because of what happened to MK Abela, there is a need for equity, there is a need for justice. So the two front-line political parties see their presidential tickets to, uh, uh, to the southwest. And that was why uh, uh, this person, Dr. Oben Nyama, had the ticket of, uh, of APP. He surrendered his ticket to Olufale to merge with AD. And that of PDP, the PDP formation was led by uh, Alex Equipment from G34. They established that political party PDP. But who was the first president that was, from uh, the is not from South East, that was, from Ibo land. That was a fallout from a gentleman's agreement amongst the political leaders of that time. At the two, the just concluded primary elect, uh, presidential primary election of the People's Democratic Party, it was a level of playing ground for no, all aspirants. No, 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 no. We had aspirants from the East. Yep. We had aspirants from the Southwest. We had aspirants from the Northwest. We had aspirants from the Northeast. Yes, let, let me tell you, let me tell you. If you go to PDP, PDP, they, they have a zoning arrangement. Zoning arrangement? Arrangement in their constitution. Really? Yes, they have it. What portion no. of the constitution talks about zoning? Listen, 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 listen very, very carefully. PDP, their method of zoning is that if social zone is holding a, a party escorts, mm. the national chairman and other in the previous convention, in another convention, it will go to another zoo. What portion? Are you getting me? So, now, I'm coming. No, no, we, we, we need to push out facts to our viewers. When you say there is a portion of the, in the PDP's constitution that can, talks about zoning, the ordinary man on the street would want to find out which portion. 
in which chapter, what section of the Constitution are you referring to? Anyway, actually, I, I cannot uh, uh, discuss the chapter of the Constitution because I'm not a member of PDP. But what? But you I, made reference. Yes, I made reference to, because to the PDP's of, Constitution. Yes, because of what happened in and the past. And I, I am also aware that Section 7, Subsection 3 of the PDP's Constitution as amended 2017, it talks about power rotation. Okay. Equity and fairness, but it never specifically say um, stated that um, power should move from the north to the east, or from the east to the west, or from the north to the south. Okay. You know, okay. it, when you talk about uh, equity protection, now last previous convention of PDP, the national chairman came from uh, southern Nigeria, oh. and this time around, the national chairman went to the north, isn't it? That was based on the agreement from the Zonal Committee of the PDP. That last is, what, is what I'm saying. We are saying the same thing. You made a point about the uh, equity rotatory in the constitution. And that equity and rotatory means that if this zone is holding this position, the other zone should hold the other position. Are you getting me? So if last year, and that is what played out, because of last previous convention, the PDP national chairman came from southern Nigeria, and this time around, it came from northern Nigeria. But the, the last count, the last time the PDP was in power, the president was from the south, and this time we have a presidential candidate from the north. The, 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 this was um, in 2019, they zoomed to the north. Mm -hmm. And we saw the emergence of um, the vice president, Atiku Abubakar. And based on that zoning, it's, if you go through the constitution, like you have stated, they talk about the eighth term tenor of it. And this time around, it was at, at, at the convention ground. You saw the whole, everything that happened. And at the end of the day, the vice president emerged really. You saw the, you saw the, not no, no, no. You, you saw what the, 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 the zoning committee, what they did when they were talking about zoning, they said they want to leave it open. Yeah, that they don't and of course, that's what they did. Now, why did they do that? The question is that this is very, very simple, and that is part of the problem we're having in Nigeria. You cannot shift or move, uh, 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 change a goalpost at the middle of the game. I get me. You cannot do that. So they could, uh, they could. They suppose allow the normal thing they normally do via the sharing of the power. So why did they change it? Why did they say it is open? Why are they leaving it open? Now I'm coming. I'm coming. In 2000 and 1999, I told you when PDP came on board, it wasn't open. It wasn't open. It was it to I'm coming. I'm coming. It was ceded to Southwest. So why is it that they didn't leave it open? If they left it open, the, the, the people that even from PDP in, in, in 2000 and 1998, 1999 election, they surrendered that ticket to the, to the southwest. But because they, they, was, they stopped they, the southerners from contesting. At the they did airport. not contest now. The southerners did, did not contest. There was an agreement. Summaries. There was an agreement to give it to them. And they, a lot of what people are you that. talking about? This agreement because of, I told you that in Nigeria today, what we need in this country is fairness and equity. No, 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 no. I, I'm coming. I, I'm, I, no, be, I'm coming. Be, be, before, you, before you make that point, you know, when you push out a claim, you need to substantiate that claim. You said there was an agreement. There what was an agreement, agreement. Are you referring there to? There was agreement to ensure because of what happened to MKO Adiola. Are you referring to 1999 or yes, they just concluded? I'm talking, I'm, 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 I'm giving you a historical fact. What happened in 1999? Why, why presidential tickets of the two frontline political parties were ceded to Southwest? Was there an agreement? There was an agreement because of fairness and equity. Oh. And be, they, I told you that because of what happened to MK Abiola, are you getting me? So we need to balance that equity, that power need to shift to Southwest. And that was why the two frontline political parties, uh, 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 the, the presidential ticket was ceded to the, to, to the southwest. I told you that somebody from southeast, Oben Leon, had the ticket of APP. Are you getting me? Then what he did is to match 
with the AD of Ulufele and surrender that presidential ticket to Ulufele from Southwest. And that was why Obasanjo became the presidential candidate in PDP. Why Ulufele fly the ticket of, uh, of uh, AD and the uh, uh, APP in order to satisfy the Southwest. That was what the Southeast did because of fairness and equity. And Obasanjo finished the eighth years. Power moved back to the northern Nigeria until what happened under to, the PDP. Right? Yes, under PD, PDP. Until what happened to the former president uh, Rusoya Adua happened. The good luck Jonathan took over and finished the I tenor. And finished the tenor and contested in that 2011 and won. Are you me? Then in 2015 he contested again and uh, lost the election. And that gave rise to the ruling really progressive that congress. gave rise to the ruling progressive congress. They won the election of 2015. Now, if you check it that by next year, President Muhammad Buhari will finish his administration, will finish his tenure, then power needs to shift to southern Nigeria. And that is what we are talking about. And that was why the southeastern people were demanding, appealing that there is need to see these two presidential tickets to Southeast to maintain equity and fairness. But you see, you saw what PDP did. Well, already, and, and today well, I already the convention, that, just a minute, well, already the convention of the People's Democratic Party is done and dusted. They already have a presidential um, candidate, um, the former vice president of Nigeria, Atuku Abubakar, is the presidential candidate of the PDP. Well, a major event we will be holding tomorrow, that is the, the, the con special convention of the ruling All Progressives Congress. And again, the APC, like the PDP, has thrown their tickets open. No, I don't think it's open. I'm really? sure that Mr. President will shock Nigerians. It's not open. Mr. President I mean, is somebody... They told the press Mr. that it's, I, watch. it's open. Mr. President is somebody that believes in fairness and equity. Okay. I am very, very optimistic. Mm. I'm very, very sure that Mr. President is very, very much interested in unity of this country. Okay. And he knows very well that one of the things that will make this country to move forward is to see the APC presidential ticket to Southeast. And I'm not going to tell you some information that you would want to share with Nigerians as regards um, the P APC convention because you seem to be so um, strong I'm very your point yes, when I'm you say that the president will shock Nigerians. I, I'm very you mean that the president intends to zoom without the collective um, interests or perhaps the, um, the, the collective agreement of his party members. He has done that. He called a meeting, discussed with the governors, discussed with the National Working Committee of the party. He only he asked that they allow him to choose a successor. Thank you very much. But he did not say whether or not he's going to the south or the north. That is what I'm saying. He did not. But what I'm telling you that, what I'm telling you that, what Mr. President had in mind mm. is to make sure there is equity. He's interested Are you in that. the president's mind. I, 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 you cannot say that the president is not sure, is not interested in the unity. Does of his body country. language in any way talk um, shows that he's headed to a certain zone of the country or a certain? Now nah, look at what happened when you look at the formation of APC. The formation of APC is about three important legacy party: mm. CPC, ANPP and the ACN. ACN led by uh, Ahmed Tinubu, CPC led by our president, and the ANPP led by uh, Dr. Ben Mianu. And you can see in 2015, ACN took the first presidential slot, while CPC took a presidential slot, remaining ANPP. And let me tell you, there is something that I love so much about the man Ben Mianu is a man that I have seen read the history Are you that campaigning for I'm not, certain I'm not campaigning for him, I'm just telling you what is platform is not for campaign. No, no, no. I'm not campaigning for any I'm telling you what what why it should be like that. I'm telling you reasons. I'm not campaigning then, for then desist okay. mentioning names of okay let me okay no problem. Now they build the party and the, I have told you the parties that take so and he kept quiet. 
and because of his interest in the unity of this country. He's not desperate for power. And that is why he didn't complain. And he has no reason to complain. His interest is to move the party forward. names on the list. 13 presidential aspirants are yeah. expected to slog it out tomorrow. Yeah. You know, all of these aspirants are from different zones of the country. Good. Whoever picks the tickets, shouldn't we be more interested in Nigeria than individual? No, we should be looking at, uh, like I have told you, you know, there are some songs that is so common in Nigeria, the unity of Nigeria, peace and progress, love and whatever. And I want to tell you that what we characterize all these things is justice, just one word, justice. If you look at the sea geopolitical zones in this country, Southeast is sustained in presidency and also Northeast. Northeast is, the, is in the northern Nigeria. Mm. Southeast is in, in southern Nigeria. Mm. Are you getting me? Yeah. Now, every other geopolitical zone should be looking at justice that we bring peace in Nigeria, that we bring love in Nigeria. Now, the North is finishing their eight years. Power should move back to southern Nigeria. You just made a point. Of, the, of all the zones in, in Nigeria, Nigeria, two zones have had the lowest sense in presidency, presidency yeah. which is the Southeast and the Northeast. Yeah. So should a presidential candidate emerge from the Northeast in the APC? The power is in the North. Now, will, will that be an issue? To it's protect? an issue. No, because you just told me now that the yes. northeast and the southeast yes, have a, had the lowest yes. things in present. It's an issue. And for the and for and for fairness and equity, these two um, zones should be considered first. Yes. You know, before any other zone. So that is why I ask: mm. Should the presidential aspirants, you know, emanate from the northeast? No, if that would that be a it's, problem? It's a problem. It's an injustice. Why is an injustice? Is that the north is holding the presidency now? What part of the north? The north is holding presidency, but not northeast, right? But is the north? Because we have not. Northern Nigeria and Southern Nigeria. The North is having the presidency now. Power should move to the Southern Nigeria. And when power moves to Southern Nigeria, we look at that zone that has been marginalized, marginalized for more than 57 years. Should power fail to come to the Southeast, what will the Ohanese Youth Council do? I, I want to tell you that uh, when you talk about uh, the issue of power failing to come to Southeast, I told you that uh, we are very, very optimistic. I understand your optimism. It not fail. No, we understand your optimis op optimism, but should power fail to come to the Southeast? It will not fail because we are interested in the unity of this what country. What will the Ohanese Youth Council do? It will not fail. Like I have told you that we are sure that power is coming to Southeast. Now, let me tell you, there's something that is very, very important about this country. Our population is advantage to us, and we want to maintain that population. Look at what is happening in China. Do you know the economy of China today, population contributed to the... So we need more market. We need a big country that you can have a big market. That is what we are talking about. And people that understand this thing will understand and believe that what we need in this country is just fairness and equity so that we can move on as a people we can move on as a country that's part of the agenda in you know in the in the blueprints of a lot of aspirants as it were both those from the north and the south are pushing for unif the unification of the country you, you, you we do that thing that we push the unification of the country do you think the south is, is ready the south is the seat of person very very ready we have credible candidates <coughs> we have three credible candidates there are three aspirants that, 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 that pass the screening they are credible but they are competent well nigerians will be looking forward to how the apc national convention will turn out and who emerges the winner from the exercise tomorrow perhaps the north or the south but whoever it becomes the
its presidential aspirant of the APC will have to slug it out with the PDP and several other political parties, you know, presidential candidates of several other political parties. But the most fundamental thing is the unification of Nigeria. We have to sincerely thank you at this point for your time with us. We do hope you join us again on our subsequent editions to, you know, so, um, to explain further on your points. Well, we've been speaking with Ibayaka. Ibayaka, he is the um, national president of the Ohanese Youth Council. Good to have you. Thank you. God bless. Well, this is where we call it a day on today's edition of Democracy Today. Do join us tomorrow for another exciting package on AIT. Thank you so much for your patience to watch from the beginning to the end. I hope you have learned something from the video you have just watched. The video you have just watched is to bring information to your doorstep and for educational purpose. It is not to demonize anybody. Let us watch continuously and see who can be able to make a sense out of every nonsense we are seeing. We must continue. We move. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they say. They will kill us. We will kill them. At the end of the day, Biafra is here. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please kindly subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you notify each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you and remember bless. See you again.